Today I'm going to show you how I clean and decorate my home for the fall. Make sure to stay to the end of the video because I'm sharing an easy DIY to repurpose that old decor you already have. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Nia if you're new and here on my channel I post a ton of cleaning, organization, and lifestyle videos. So I would love it if you stuck around by subscribing and clicking the bell notification. I'm going to start off by picking up the kitchen a bit and putting away some dishes that I had washed earlier. And then I do have to wash out the crock pot because I made this easy steak recipe that my grandma had showed me and I've been eating it non-stop for lunch. Throughout today's video, I will be using the new Mrs. Meyer apple cider cleaning products and they smell absolutely amazing. I picked up the dish soap and the multi-surface cleaner. I did try and get my hands on the mum scent because that was also a good one, but it was completely sold out. And only me, how can I trust your personality? Serving you is only one is for real. Let me be the one that makes you feel. Serving you and only me. Serving you and only one is for real. I'm gonna show you guys all of the fall decor that I have. It really isn't too much. It's just going to be a little bit of sprinkles here and there for the fall season. Some of the stuff is from last year, which I am going to repurpose, which I will show you guys and explain everything that I'm going to do. But yeah, let me show you guys what I got. So this pumpkin and kind of whole thing is something I did about two years ago. I just cut into the pumpkin and really just made it a nice little centerpiece. I don't care for the orange color too much, so I'm probably going to paint that like a light brown kind of color. Maybe go for something like that, maybe a little bit lighter. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna play around with the paint that I have. And then I'm also, I also have these, which I'm going to paint as well to have it be a more like muted tone color to match with those flowers that I got. I'm not 100% sure which color I wanna go with, probably white, maybe like a pink or purple or something like that, but that's what I plan on doing with these. I also have this light up um, pumpkin and this cute little thankful sign, which I might put in my room. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put everything just yet, but that's what this whole video is going to be. We're gonna figure it out together. And then I have this gorgeous like, cone like pine cone candle which i can put somewhere and then this little cute petri dish i doubt i'm gonna put anything in it but it's really nice i like the coloring and then this of course is just going to go in the kitchen again i don't care for the orange but you can't really paint it so i'm gonna make it work guys but this is really the kind of whole color scheme i'm going with this year i picked up these flowers from hobby lobby it's a mix of different things so i'm gonna have this right in the front and make a really nice like floral arrangement the entryway is the first thing people see when they enter into my home so I always like to decorate it with a nice floral arrangement and I went to Hobby Lobby earlier in the day and I found a bunch of different flowers that I wanted to use so all I'm doing is moving things around until I get it exactly how I want I also will say you will see me do a bit of an outfit change because I did end up decorating over the course of a couple of days because sometimes I just like to let things sit for a minute and really see if it 
it works in the space. Why don't we calm down? I think I'm the wrong size. Not enough room for everybody's egos. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time. Next, I'm moving on to the kitchen, and I really wanted to decorate the area where we have like coffee and tea and as you can see the floral arrangement the pumpkin itself used to be orange but now it's a nice like brown which i diy'd so make sure to stay to the end so you guys can see just how easy i was able to transform an old outdated decor item that i had purchased in the past and i completely forgot about this cute little like wooden stand that i had made years ago so i figured this was a cute area that i could put the sign and then also use the pumpkin to put our tea yeah, yeah, yeah. This a good life. Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks. Citrus in our beverages. Citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides. Always pretty smiles are covering her face. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies. I didn't decorate too much in our bedroom and I started off by adding some of the DIY pumpkins that I put in along with the light up pumpkin but I ended up switching that out and putting it in my office which you will see in a second and then from my fall shop with me I found this amazing cheetah print um, blanket that I found at HomeSense and I wanted to throw that onto the bed. This is definitely the perfect cuddle blanket. It is super super soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From a different star, flying over streets and the broken hearts. But they can even touch us, we found a different beat. Paradise is so now onto the DIY, and it's an easy fix to any old outdated decor item that you might have that simply doesn't fit the style that you're going for for the current year. So what I did was take an old pumpkin and I mixed some paint together to give it this nice brown color, which you'd seen earlier in the video, and it actually made the flowers pop a bit more. Also with the small bag of pumpkins that I had, I painted them a mixture of white, pink, and purple, and this gave me more of that that like modern muted tone that I was really going for.